Hey, Brian from Garage Mahal, uh, outside Garage Mahal, and here we have a Mercedes ML 550, uh, the ML series. And if you're having like some weird electrical stuff going on where your wipers work intermittently, uh, your fog lights work, they don't work, uh, your dash goes out, comes on, your radio's not working, your air conditioner's not working, uh, sometimes they come back on. Anyway, I can show you some stuff to, to troubleshoot right away. All right, first thing, is the check is you want to check your battery voltage and your battery is underneath your seat and actually you have two batteries you have your regular 12 volt battery and then you have an auxiliary battery which is back there in that compartment uh, back there in that compartment you can see that little door cell logo there so that is your auxiliary battery so the car off you want to see where your voltages are for your battery I've already hooked this one terminal up and then I'm gonna reach under here and test the battery so on the meter you can see 12.6 so you know you your alternator is charging your battery and your battery is holding a charge for the most part. So when you have the car running, we're going to take another reading and see where we're at. But in the meantime, we are going to check the auxiliary battery, which is under here. And that's showing, I'm going to get the terminal on here tight. 13.5 volts so you know your auxiliary battery is working and also charging so let's start the car oh the only thing is these are 10 millimeter uh, bolts that are on here so you want to make sure that they are tight because uh, you don't know if the guy who changed the battery last tighten them didn't tighten them or what's going on but that can be a factor as well so make sure that both of your battery terminals are tight all right let's start the car Start the car. All right, so we're started up. So next, we're going to be checking alternator voltage. And while you got this compartment open, you are looking to see if your alternator is charging your battery. Let me turn the radio off. That's actually a good sign because it wasn't working before. Okay. So now I'm going to touch the other side of the ter battery terminal. And as long as this holds. All right, so we're connected. And you can see how it's showing 13.9 and 14 volts. That's exactly where you want that alternator to be going. So we know that that is good and you're getting good voltage all the way across. So next thing to check is we're gonna go to the back of the car. You have this compartment. So you get a big flathead screwdriver and you just turn them to the left. And then this panel comes out. I might have to put a screwdriver in here to kind of pry it a little bit. Okay, so one thing on this is you have this padding here. And one thing I spotted real quick is see this mark that's here? That is actually from your wire rubbing against this. Uh, this is obviously a sound barrier, and you got a little bit up here. So the first thing I started looking for is this wire harness is supposed to be back here and not rubbing up against this so what's happened is your I don't know if you can see that in there but you can see how the wires are loose on the inside of that little coupling so that's not good that's what's going to cause your loose connections and that is what's going to not give power to your back panel so that's why each one of these fuses wasn't getting a proper voltage because his wiring harness was basically not where it's supposed to be 
So if you see this, that's going to be a telltale sign that your wire harness is rubbing on that and it's going to make a loose or jiggly connection that's in there. So basically how you combat that is you get yourself a couple wire ties and what we are going to simply do is we're going to wire tie some of these wires together to hold them out of the way. So we're going to put it there, and that's going to help keep that from rubbing on that. And then this one, will probably wire tie a little bit more into this back part. Okay, so that's going to help keep that all out of the way, and that should resolve... And we'll just put that there and that should resolve any of that road vibration and moving around. All right, let's start it up, see what we get. Okay, so you want to make sure everything energizes and you have no errors on the dashboard. Make sure your hazards work. Make sure your fans work. And your radio is coming on. So that's good. You got your blinkers. Okay, your headlights. So those should be your The running lights. And your headlights are on. So that's good. And just check all your little power accessories out. Your seats work. Um, I'm not sure how to do the fog lights. I think you pull that out all the way. Yeah, your fog lights are on. So, looks like everything is working. And check out your wipers. So your wipers are working. So, looks like everything is it's working good. And other than that, that's it. So, that's how you can check for your quick and easy electrical issues with your uh, Mercedes ML3 or ML550 class. And uh, Brian from Garage Mall, thanks for watching. Be safe out there.